Lakeview is a very small town where everybody knows everybody. Nine times out of 10, you can to the next person that you see. Just know you can't keep no secrets in Lakeview. If you did anything wrong or anything right, by the time you got home at night, your mom or anybody, they knew everything about it. We don't have a lake, which is, which is pretty crazy that we're called Lakeview. You think that we have a lake. We have a pond, a big old mill pond that looks like a lake. It's just a small loving town that everybody cares about everybody. Go and get a, get a, get a double cheeseburger. <laughs> yes, ma'am, can I get a, two double cheeseburgers? One all the way with no onions, and one all the way with onions, please. You go to any other restaurant in this small little burger, and you come here, you get a double cheeseburger around that big, so. A lot of people don't eat it in one sitting. I can eat maybe two of them. It's like when you eat the burger, it makes you just love the country all over again. This is where everybody go to, like a, everybody go to after, after school, usually be a double cheeseburger before a football game, just sit around, so. Got a lot of history behind double cheeseburgers here. <laughs> See, this is what you call a double cheeseburger. The good thing about it, you drown it with ketchup, and that's when you go to work. See, that's a good burger. That's where all the fun, fun stuff happens. Chasing cows, where I get all my athleticism from. Every time the cows get out there, they call me because that's something I, I love doing. When one get out, it's like eight of them. So you gotta be very quick, have good instincts, to kind of make sure everybody go the same way. You can't have them split up. So you gotta be quick. So I, I think about it as playing linebacker. <laughs> You gotta stay in front of that cow and make sure it turns back around and lead it to the right direction to get back in the cage. So just like <laughs> that running back coming at me, I wanna keep him in front of me, pin his hip, and make sure he go backwards instead of forward. If I can stand in front of a cow or one of these horses, I can stand in front of the uh, running backs. <laughs> Time to eat. <laughs> I just like to be comfortable out by myself, not to worry about neighbors. Come on. You don't want any, so I'm just gonna put it down. Y'all want me? Y'all want me to get on the horse? Y'all want me to jump on the horse? <laughs> What's up? Come on. Come here. Come here. Calm down. The worst part about staying here is mowing the lawn. Going to the big old, big old high school. But whenever I'm home, this is where I spend a lot of my time. I ended my senior year on this field, up by 21 in the fourth quarter, and lost by one. You know what play sticks out the most? They went for two, right here. They ran the quarterback sweep, quarterback sweep to my side. I come up to make the tackle, I get stiff on they win the ball game. That's my only memory about that game. I said I do not want to feel that pain anymore. I don't want to miss any more tackles. So I got a little stronger, got a little bigger, kind of opened my eyes a little bit, made me realize that I'm not as good as I thought I was. I'm gonna tell you the real changing point in my life. 
I was playing baseball and I was hitting in the cage. I was doing some extra work, just trying to get better. And I had one of the coaches come up to me and he looked at me and said, son, your dad was good and he was fast. What the hell happened to you? <laughs> and ever since then, I said I would never hear them words again. And they just pushed me to never fail. There were times I just wanted to give up and I just kind of stayed focused and just kind of worked harder, stayed in the weight room more than anybody, ran more than anybody. I'm both of the brothers in jail for murder. One been there since 1997. He was 17, 16 and the other one went when I was, I think I was probably seven or eight and they, they both been there ever since. And then my brother get killed in 2012. So when I was growing up, everybody said I was gonna follow their path. I was gonna do all the wrong things. Once that I figured out that that wasn't a route that I wanted to take, everybody noticed that I was making all the right decisions. And it's so easy to fall in, fall in the trap that everybody else is going, but I chose not to. You know, on a Friday night when everybody else may be out at a party and he's up there lifting weights or he's running or he's watching film, different things like that. It's just you know, made him who he is. He wanted to be great. I mean, he, he had that drive, that passion. That's what separates the ones who want to be good and the ones who really want to be great, what they do when they don't have to be doing it. If I wasn't going to beat you by my athleticism, I was going to beat you by outworking you. On the football field, he was going to be the loudest one. You are going to know he's out there. He's going to make a joke. He's going to laugh. He might dance a few times, but it was his turn to work. He was going to outwork everybody else. Anybody here though, Mom Dukes? Well, Mama. Look at this. What's up? First team, all conference. Uh, couple game balls. Oh, yeah, my North South, North South game. I was named uh, defensive MVP for that game. Couple mannequins of me. Gotta make a bigger trophy case. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna get plenty more. I'm proud of all of them. Everything you did, you know, starting from the red, the little <laughs> one. <laughs> so, um, all of them, I'm just proud of everything. And then over here, we got my brother. <laughs> brother Anthony. <laughs> oh, introduce it. Uh oh, okay. That's it, that's it, just uh, introduce it. Thought you was coming with another joke. No, 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 no more jokes, no more. <laughs> we can tell you know anything you, you want to know about this guy, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, his favorite food, peanut butter. Oh, there you go. Here you <laughs> tell y'all that. Here you go. Okay. Favorite food, peanut butter. Okay, okay. Y'all yeah. okay. wanna know his nickname? <laughs> we can start. We can start if you want to. That's all I'm gonna say. The town of Lakeview is gonna come out and uh, present him with the, the the key to the big city, you know, of Lakeview. It's, uh, it's just basically, you know, showing him that you know everybody here support him and you know they're behind him 100 percent and. <clears throat> You know, they appreciate how he presents himself and is representing Lakeview. So, you know, it's just gonna, gonna give thanks to him and let him know that, you know, home is where it is and home home is where, where, where the love is. So, yeah, so it, it's, I think it's a big deal though, you know, just just to be able to pass the key to him, you know, from from being the big brother, the fastest brother, going to the, 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 the younger brother, the uglier brother, so. You know, that's, 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 a, that's a blessing though, it really is. Man, I still can't believe you say faster, and there's proof that I was faster. I think you should raise it. Really? Line it up. I think y'all should raise it right now. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Not today. <laughs> Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice We're to meet you. Of. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, ma'am. You're welcome. I enjoy. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we, we're proud of what you're doing, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. What does it mean to you to have a, a day that your community wants to give to you? Um, it, it means a lot. It just it just shows that the community is behind me no matter what. And just me coming back home and doing all the things that I do at home. And it's not going unnoticed, so it actually feels good to come back home and have a day for me. It means a lot to get the key to the city. It's kind of hard to kind of wrap your, wrap your mind around it, just knowing that everybody is behind you. Now when I come back home now, I see Darius Leonard jersey, the Maniac t-shirts, and it just, it, it feels so, uh, a little bit unreal. Let's 
give a hand to our native son, our homegrown hero. I remember when they did it for my brother and how excited I was for him and I always said that I wanted to be just like him and now I'm having a day just like he have it. This whole year is truly and really, you know, it, it meant a lot to me. It was a blessing and man, I'm, you know, I'm just proud of you. Yeah. I love you, man. I love, like I said, I love everything you stand for, not only as a football player, but the way you care for your family and the way you got everybody behind your back, the way you came with your wife, man, I, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. Okay. The main thing is we're proud of him. And it's not because he's in the NFL. It's not because he was the defensive rookie of the year. We're proud of him for the man that he has become and the man that he can continue to be. This town means so, so much to me. And everybody wonders, why Darius ain't, why he ain't out of town? Why, why every time he got a uh, chance to come home, he come home? Because this is what made me. This is what made me who I am. I'm gonna come back and continue to give back to my community because I'm not just playing for myself, not playing for my family, but I'm playing for this whole community. And I would like to thank Lakeview community for making me who I am. Thank you. I know what it took me to get where I'm at now, all the hard work, all, all the dedication that I had to do. And now that I made it, it's, I haven't did anything. I wasn't named MVP. I do not have a Super Bowl ring. I do not have a Pro Bowl. So it's still things that I want to accomplish. We present you with a 10 jersey that will be permanently mounted for everyone to see in the Lakeview Recreation Department for your accomplishment. We'll also be placing at the entrance of the town, home of Darius Leonard's town, because we are a special town. On behalf of the town lady, the key to the city. This is my home, man. This is where everything that happened in my life happened here. I got all my memories here, all family and my daughter's about to grow up here. It's crazy. It's crazy to see where I'm at now, especially coming from this small town. Want to take your X-Fi to the next level? Now you can. Get enhanced performance and protection with x Vantage. Plus, enjoy as much high-speed Wi-Fi as you like with unlimited data. That's x Vantage. The best Wi-Fi just got even better. Upgrade today. Call, click, or visit a store.